guys, my name is Tamika Davis and I'm so excited to be giving you all of my tips to customer retention. Now that you know how to find the customers, you've got the product information and some upsell techniques I wanna teach you how to keep them. I've been in this business for over five years now and I'm still getting paid on some of the first customers I sign my first month in the business. And that's because I created a customer retention system early on to give my customers the best experience possible. So for you guys today, I've created a short little acronym called PROFIT to teach you guys how to build that long-term customer retention. So P stands for product, R, referral, O, offer thanks, F, follow up, I, invite, and T, tools to keep in touch. So I'm gonna go through each one of these individually with you right now. So make sure that you grab a pen and paper and take some notes because this is gonna to totally change your life. So the P and profit stands for product. We are a customer-based business, which means that it's so important that we're recommending the right product for each customer. And everybody is so different. So it's important that we're asking questions and that we're doing our best job to recommend what's right for them. Customers are gonna order longer when they see results. Customers who have longer, healthier hair, clearer skin, are losing weight, more energy, less stress, are happy customers. And we wanna keep our happy customers by making sure that they are getting the right products. And so what I love about our customer program is if for some reason they're not seeing results, we can change their products month two, month three, to make sure that they're getting the results that they want. So a happy customer is gonna stick around longer and we want them to be able to fall in love with the results that they're getting. And when they do that, you're gonna have a lifetime customer. Now the R stands for referral. Once I get my customer signed up, I'm excited and they're excited. They just saved a lot of money on a whole bunch of products that are gonna help them reach their goals. And they've got a new friend that's gonna help give them the support that they need. So what's better than that? I'll tell you what's better than that. Them doing it with their friends. Everybody loves doing things with their friends. Everyone loves company. And so one of the first things I have them do once I get them signed up as a customer is I'll have them make a post on their wall regarding their order. And that way, any of their friends or family that would like to try it too can get in on the same deal that they got in on. Now, I do a 72 hour customer referral program because this also creates a sense of urgency and the friends and family who are gonna get started on the products, that way they're all getting started just about the right time. So a message that I like to send to my customers after I get them signed up goes like this. All right, Susan, I just got your order in and you are all set up. Here's your ID number and password. To get into your account, you just go to itworks.com and click sign in. If you need any help, don't hesitate to ask. We will keep in touch. I also wanted to let you know that I do a 72 hour customer referral opportunity. You just saved X amount on your products and I know you have other friends or family that would love to join you too and I can get them on the same deal. Would you be up for putting a post on your wall regarding your order and for every customer referral I get, you can pick a freebie from my stash. Sound good? Now customers love that because like I said, what's better than doing it alone? Doing it with your friends. And so from there, I'm having them put up a post regarding their order. I make sure to include the goals and things that they're working toward to see if any of their friends would like to join in. Like I said, it's just 72 hours. This creates that sense of urgency. Then I'm gonna let them pick a product from my stash for every customer that they send me, whether it came from the per post or word of mouth. And my, my setup just looks like this. I'll send them a picture of it. I've got super greens and reds. There's some keto coffee and keto tea, some little energy sticks. I've got hydrate and skinny brew and I'll send them a picture of it and then they can pick the products that they want to try for every customer that they referred to me I'll let them pick one or two from my stash they can even pick from our ultimate body applicators or facial wraps now what I love about doing this is this is allowing them to try even more products to fall in love with like I said on you know that first thing the products we want them to fall in love and so by giving them a couple of little extra freebies for them sending me referrals is a win-win on both of our parts okay so I let them pick a freebie from my stash for every customer referral that I get in the next 72 hours and they just love it now let's go ahead and move on to the next thing which is O which stands for offer thanks 
Thanks is one of the most important things we can do in customer retention. People love to be recognized and thanks and thanked. So when I first started this business, every customer that I signed, I would make sure that I made a big post on my wall or on my story and said, thank you so much for your order and told them how much it meant to me. Then I wanted to get a little bit more personalized. So I went to the dollar store and I just bought these simple little thank you cards. On the inside of them, I would write a handwritten letter to the customer. I would include their ID number and password and let them know that I was here to help. And I would send that in the mail, sometimes even with uh, keto or with our energy stick right there with it. Then I decided to customize it a little bit more to myself and my family. So now what my customers are getting in the mail is a thank you card with a picture of us that says thank you for your order and support. And over here, I'm writing a personalized thank you. And on the back of the card, I can give directions as far as how to use the products that they just purchased. I also throw in a customer loyalty card, which I will clip out one of those months. So it's like a little punch card with their ID number and password. And then at the bottom, I've got my contact information. And I love doing this because it easily fits in their wallet or purse. They can put it on their refrigerator. They can put it next to their workstation. And that way they have their account information right there easily ready to go that they can find it. And so you guys, offering things is such a great and thoughtful just gesture rather than just making a post, being able to put that extra touch in, your customers will absolutely love it. Okay, now let's get into the F. The F is for follow-up. You've heard the phrase, fortune is in the follow-up. Well, that's not just true for signing your customers, that's true for keeping your customers. If you ordered from someone and never heard from them again, you wouldn't feel valued. And we do value our customers. We want them to know that we care about them. So staying in touch with them is key. Now, I love using the Connect app. It makes it super simple. Every time you sign a customer, um, there is an automatic follow-up that goes in there. So you can log into that every morning and you'll see this green little circle. It'll tell you how many you have, click it, and you can go through and you can send the pre-scripted follow-ups that are in there, or you can create your own. I personally use a three, two, one system. I follow up with my customers three days after they sign, two weeks after they sign, and one week before their next order. So I'll give you my favorite scripts and tell you how I use this. So like I said, with the referral program, they have 72 hours to send me any names of people who want to do this with them. And so during, after that 72 hour mark, I'm getting their thank you card ready to go with any samples that they earned and I'm getting that ready to mail out. So then I'm going to send them a quick text message and it just goes something like this. Hey, at name, cause I'm using the connect app. I just wanted to tell you thank you again for your order. It's been printed and should be shipping soon if it hasn't already. You will get an email with the tracking number once it does. Please be sure to send me a message when it comes and if you're feeling super excited, go live and open the box. Talk to you soon. So that message goes out three days after I sign the customer when I'm sending out the thank you and the referral freebies. Then I'm gonna send another follow-up message two weeks after the first order. And that goes just something like this. At name, just wanted to check and make sure you got your products and everything is going well. I'm here if you need anything. Now, the reason why I send this message is because I want to make sure that they got their products. If there's any issue with the tracking, I can check it. Um, maybe if something came damaged or maybe they started trying it and they, they don't like the way that they mixed it, I can offer some different ways for them to try it and make sure that they're enjoying their products. They got them and they're enjoying them. That's so, so important. Okay, and then my last follow-up comes one week before their next order runs, and it just goes something like this. I can't believe it's been almost a month since your first order. Your second shipment is coming up soon. If you'd like anything changed on your order, please be sure to log into your account and edit the auto shipment. If you need some recommendations, please don't hesitate to reach out. Now, you guys, I like to give them a little heads up. The company is going to send them an email five days before their order runs. And so I'm reaching out a week before, so it gives them just a couple of days to log in there, edit the auto shipment before that email is coming from the company. And it's gonna reflect the products that they're getting, make sure that they got it changed correctly and all that good stuff. So then that way there's no issues when the process date comes. 
It's so important that we are connecting with our customers after they've ordered, because if they are not using the products or they're not enjoying them, then they're going to stop ordering after the three months. And so just taking a couple minutes, that's all it takes one to two minutes every morning to check your connect app and send a couple follow-ups out. You are going to make a huge difference long-term in the profit of your business. So make sure that you're following up with your customers to make sure that they get their products, to make sure that they're using their products and to make sure that they're enjoying them. And remember that they can switch products each month to best fit their needs and their lifestyle. All right. So we're almost done. You guys, the I in profit stands for invite. Once your customer has finished their three months, what a great time to invite them into the business with you. They're loving their products. They're seeing great results. They're telling their friends about it and sending you referrals and they're making posts on social medias. OMG, the business is perfect for them. So here is a message that you could send to invite them on board with you. Something like, hey, at name, I just wanted to say thank you so much for completing your three month program with me. You are now locked into the loyal customer pricing and have even more flexibility with your orders. We can keep them going as usual or upgrade you to a brand rep. It's been a pleasure working with you thus far, and I would love to show you how you can share the products and make some extra income. Would you be open to learning more about what I do? If you guys don't ask, the answer is no. And most customers haven't even thought about it. That's exactly what happened to me. See, I was a customer before I started the business. I had finished my three month commitment and my brand rep asked, would I ever consider doing the business with her? Now, I did say no, but the seed was planted. And two months later when I was ready, I signed up. And I'm so grateful today and every day that she at least asked because this business has changed my life. So you guys, finally, the T in profit stands for tools, tools to keep in touch. As you grow your business and you have tens, hundreds, and even thousands of customer accounts in the future, it is going to be a challenge to keep in touch with all of them. So a couple of resources that I use and my team uses, I'm going to share with you. So first off, we have a customer page that all of my team adds their new customers to. And in this customer page, we're sharing our before and after results, recipes, the ways that we're using our products, tips to see your best results, product information, and keeping them in the loop of our newest promotions and different deals that we have going on. And so I love having this community of all of our customers, just being able to give them the information and just be excited in everything that we've got going. The other thing that I do is I keep track of all of my customers on an Excel spreadsheet. I keep track of the date that they signed, their name, their ID number, who they're placed under, and either the products that they ordered or the results that they wanted to get. That way, if we have any deals or promotions out, I can make sure that I'm letting those customers know saying, hey, I know you loved the coffee before. Hey, I know you were struggling with sleep, or I know that you needed, um, that you wanted clearer skin. And anytime we have a deal or promotion that would be associated with any of those products, I can easily message all of my customers. They say that some kind of life, life change happens in everybody's lives between three and six months. And so having a way to keep in track, keep in touch with your customers, even if it's just saying hello and I'm thinking of you, I like to do that at least every three to six months and keep in touch with them that way. The last thing that you guys can do is just make sure that they're friends with you on your social media. I mean, you're going to be posting all of the promotions and things that are going on, how you're using the products before and after pictures. And as long as they're following you, they're going to see all that and they're going to want to stay involved with what you have got going. So you guys, that takes us to the end of profit. And I just want you to know whether you're brand new or whether you've been in the business for a while, there is no wrong time to start taking care of your customers. It is never too late. I hope that this was helpful and that you found at least one thing that you can incorporate to offer your customers more value so they'll stay on board with you longer. If you want to have that long-term profit, customer retention is key. And if you use this simple system, P-R-O-F-I-T, product referrals, offer things, follow-up, invite, and tools, you will have a thriving, successful, enjoyable business. Thanks, you guys.